and the world trends towards consistency. And there's no doubt in my mind whatsoever that we have by far the most consistent message in the history of the world. We have by far the most consistent message in the history of the world. What do we say? We say that the non-initiation of force is morally good. The initiation of force is evil. The respect for property rights is morally good. Violation of property rights, immoral. I mean, that's what we tell kids in kindergarten. So we have the most consistent moral message out there. And I think, or I would argue, that the ingredient that we sometimes forget, and I put myself in this category too, I'm not preaching from any higher place of perfect knowledge, is that the only thing that is missing is the willpower to continue to drive the message home and to not be patient. And to be pushy to be uncomfortable for other people. Because nobody like, I, I was raised in England, I don't like making people uncomfortable. <laughs> it's not, you know, you'd like to discuss your hydrangeas over tea rather than talk about the violence inherent in the system. <laughs> but nonetheless, it is absolutely necessary that we grin our teeth, set our willpower to the sticking place and be willing to make people uncomfortable, to push those conversations, to say to people, if you support the state, you support the use of violence against me as an individual. If you want to pay taxes, that's fine, you can mail a check. If you force me to pay taxes, then you're saying, I cannot disagree with you without being thrown in a cage for years. That is not a civilized position. You are not a civilized human being if you advocate the initiation of force against other human beings. I'm sorry if that makes you uncomfortable, but don't shoot the messenger. <laughs>